turbocharger consists of a few different components. There's the centre core. You've got the turbine wheel and the compressor wheel on the opposite side. People also refer to the turbine wheel as the exhaust wheel because exhaust gases flow against it. The oil inlet is positioned at the top of the core and the water inlets are on the side. This is the compressor housing and this is the turbine housing. The way it's designed to produce engine power is the exhaust gases from the engine enter the turbine housing, spinning the turbine wheel and in turn rotating the compressor wheel which is connected by a central shaft. The amount of throttle applied by the driver controls immediate airflow able to create boost pressure. The compressor wheel creates pressurised airflow through the compressor housing towards the engine. The wastegate is the turbocharger's safety mechanism to protect it from overboosting or producing too much boost pressure for the unit to handle. This is the wastegate actuator, which pushes the shaft and opens or closes the wastegate inside the turbine housing, acting as a bypass for the turbine wheel. With the wastegate fully closed, all exhaust gases are passed through the turbine wheel and will likely result in a blown turbo. As the wastegate opens, exhaust gases are bypassed through it to prevent the turbine wheel from producing excessive airflow and spinning to destruction. The wastegate is preset by a bleeder valve or electronic boost controller which controls the level of allowed boost. This is the oil exit, which is positioned at the very bottom of the centre core. It must run directly beneath the oil inlet to allow effective lubrication and cooling. Water lines are present on either side of the centre core, aiding in additional cooling. A common performance upgrade includes a turbocharger with a smaller turbine wheel to decrease boost response time and often a larger compressor wheel to match. And that's how a turbocharger works.